Hey what's up guys in the previous video we talked about the motor driver breakout board and the L293D motor driver IC now in this video i'll explain you the working of L293D motor driver IC the L293D IC can control two motors at a time it consists of a dual edge bridge motor driver circuit that is the motor driver IC consists of two circuits like these one for each motor now before i start explaining you the working of motor driver let me explain you a very simple concept. So if suppose you want to determine the number of input or output combination according to the devices you have, then there is a very simple formula for that. For example, in the first section, we have written a program to blink the LED. Now, since we had only one LED, there are two outputs possible. First, your LED will be high. Second, your LED will be low. So from the LED example, let's look at the formula. Now, if you have one digital device, then your N is equal to one. And the formula to determine the number of input and output combination is two raised to N. So for N equal to one, there are two outputs possible that is high and low. Now, since we have to control a robot and our robot consists of two motors, then N is equal to two. And so the combination logic is equal to two raised to N that is two raised to two equal to four. So for two motors, there are four input combinations possible. And these combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. That is low, 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 high, high, low, and high, high. And when we apply these inputs to the motor driver from the Arduino, the motor driver will thus control the motors. So now, as you can see, this is an edge bridge circuit and this edge bridge circuit can control one motor. On the right hand side, there is a table indicating the input and output conditions. The input conditions of high and low are given from the Arduino to the input pins of the motor driver. And then from the output pins of the motor driver, the DC motors will be controlled. The edge bridge circuit basically consists of four switches, S1, S2, S1 bar and S2 bar. And we need to give the inputs from the Arduino to these switches. On the top, there is a VCC pin and at the bottom, there is a ground pin. In the middle, there is a motor and for this motor to move, the current should pass from VCC to ground. So first, if we give an input of 0, 0, that is S1 is 0 and S2 is 0, then the S1 and S2 switch will be open. Similarly, the S1 bar and S2 bar switches will be closed. So since the S1 and S2 switch is open, the current will not flow from the VCC to ground and at this condition that is 0, 0 or low, low, the motors will stop. Next, if we give an input of 0, 1, that is S1 is 0 and S2 is 1, then S1 will be open, S2 will be closed. Similarly, S1 bar will be closed and S2 bar will be open. So when we give a condition of 0, 1 or low, high, then the current will flow from VCC to S2, then to the motors, from the motors it will go to the S1 bar and from the S1 bar it will go to the ground. And in this case our motors will move, but it will move in the backward direction. So guys at low high the DC motor will move backward. Next if we give a condition of 1 0 that is S1 is 1 and S2 is 0. So in this case the S1 switch will be closed. S2 switch will be open. Similarly, S1 bar will be open and S2 bar will be closed. So guys, in this case, the current will flow from VCC to S1. From S1, it will go to the motors. From the motors, it will go to S2 bar and from S2 bar, it will go to the ground. So guys, when you give a condition of high low, the DC motor will move and it will move in the forward direction. And Last, at the condition of 1, 1, that is, if S1 is 1 and S2 is 1, then in this case, the S1 and S2 switch will be closed and the S1 bar and S2 bar switches will be open. So guys, as you can see, this condition basically represents a short circuit condition. So at this condition, that is 1, 1 or high, high, the motors will not move because the current will not be able to flow from VCC to ground. So guys, if we run through all the conditions again, then at low, low, the motors will stop. At low high, the motors will move, but in the backward direction. At high low, the motors will move in the forward direction. And at high high, the motors will stop. Now guys, after understanding the conditions, 
Let's look at a very simple example. If you connect pin number 3 and 4 from the Arduino to the D1 and D2 pins of the motor driver. Similarly, if you connect pin number 5 and 6 from the Arduino to D3 and D4 pins of the motor driver. Next, if you connect the M1 and M2 socket of the motor driver to the left motor and if you connect the M3 and M4 socket of the motor driver, then when you write any command on pin number 3 and 4, the left motor will be controlled and when you write a command on pin number 5 and 6, the right motor will be controlled. Now, as I've explained you earlier, if you want to move the motor forward, then the condition for that is high-low. So, if I want to move the left motor forward, then I will write high on pen number 3 and low on pen number 4. Similarly, if suppose I want to move the right motor backward, then I will write low on pen number 5 and high on pen number 6. So guys, I hope from this video, you would have understood what is an edge bridge and how we can use the edge bridge to control our DC motors.